Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to resize AutoCAD file. I've done this video before and what I did was how to resize and scale. And what the file I used was PDF. And as you can see, this is AutoCAD and this method is totally different from what I did the last time. What I did the last time is 100% correct for that particular issue. And what I'm going to do now is also 100% going to be correct for this particular issue. Now, this plan was given to me to model. Okay, it's an AutoCAD file. It was given to me to model. Now, I haven't imported it in here. This is what the size looks like. Now, the wall is meant to be 225, but if you measure it, you see that the wall is just 9. Okay? You can see 9. Okay? And then this is the original size after I have done the rescaling. Okay. Now this is two to five. So when I draw my wall, I can easily put two to five or two thirty, but I usually use two to five. So two thirty and just go like so. And also you can see that in this particular drawing, there's no dimension to even help on like what we did before. So. Let's get started. Now, all you need to do is go to file and go to merge this time around, merge file. Okay. And this is the plan. And then you just click and open. Okay. Just in case it is not showing. For instance, it's not showing maybe it's somewhere around somewhere. So you just must make sure you change it to DWG. Okay. Because it is AutoCAD file. So we just click it and open and then you say, okay, now I'm going to import it how it is originally. I told you I did it before, but I want to show you what it is. So I'm going to cycle this right now. I just want you to look at this. This is just one, one, and I'm going to click merge and you can see the box here. Just click here and say, okay, now you can see the file. Okay. And it's very, very small. We can't even walk by use your wall. This is our wall. This is what our two to five looks like. You can see. So we need to rescale this building. Now I'm going to delete them or just leave it here and rescale it and import. Try to do what you have to do to correct mm. this particular problem. Now, before that, I'll take you to a calculator. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I will say two to five, which is, this is going to be the wall I will use divided by nine, okay, is going to be what? 25. Now I want you to have this 25 in your mind. If it is two, two, you can say two, 230 divided by nine. That nine we measured on that original wall. This is 25.5, but I want to use 225 divided by nine, okay? This is what? 25. Now, it simply means that this our wall, to get 225, we have to multiply it by 25. And see, this is 9, which is the thickness of our wall. Now, we are going to try to import it again. Now, here, on that scale, okay, you say 25 or 25.5. If you're using a 230 thickness wall. Now we are using 225 thickness wall. Just put 225. I'm going to put it on this axis, X axis and Y axis. Then you say edge. Okay. You try to take it back. You can see our join is looking bigger than what it used to be. Okay. So this is our join. I'm going to drag it to this point. It's a little heavy because it has so much fuel in it, which I'm going to delete when I start working on it. So you can see that, you can see how we, we imported and the little mathematics we have to do to get the right dimension. As you can see now that this site is 36 meters. Okay. And by 18, which is a standard plot of land in my country, Nigeria. Okay. 
this video is practically different from what we did. What we did, we used the PDF and we, we scaled it, get an approximate measurement. But for this particular project, there is no measurement. Okay. But I'm assuming that this wall is 225, which is the standard wall we use here in Nigeria. It, it depends on the standard wall you use in your place. If it is 150, you have to do that particular mass. Okay. With 150, that means 150 divided by whatever measurement you have on your drawing that you know it is not correct. Okay. Or if you ask the person that sends you join and the person told you, okay, it is 150, then you know what to do. Okay. So that's basically how to go about this. Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch our, our 3D Max video, how to render. Okay. And thank you so much for those that have joined our membership. Okay. And it's a way to support the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.